Hi everyone, I'm Stacy from beautyandthefoodie.com and today I'm starting a first in a series of how to shoot a cooking video with your smartphone and just to keep it easy and keep it simple as possible and today I'm going over the subject of how I set up my lighting. I'm going to take you with me and show you how I do it and this is for beginners so if you have a lot of experience um, you're not going to need to see this, but I started six months ago as a beginner and this is how I set mine up. So we're going to get right to that and I'll show you how I set up my lighting right now. Okay, so my setup is behind me. These are the lights. I have a, like a backdrop, a photo backdrop down. You can use any color or wood or anything you normally use for photos. And then I have three lights, one above, which I will show you in a minute, and two back here behind the camera in the tripod. One's a main light, the other one's a fill light, and then the overhead light or hair light. And now I'm going to get behind the camera and show you exactly what they look like. First of all, I am using a sort of a mix match of different kinds of lights that I already had from food photography. Um, I didn't want to buy more equipment or more importantly, <laughs> I didn't want to store more equipment. I'm running out of places to put it. So these are my lights. Uh, the first light, the key light, which is behind your cell phone and tripod and off to the side and angled to one side of your subject and I'm using a softbox with four CFL, which are uh, fluorescent daylight balance bulbs in it. And that is what I use for my main light. If you don't already own any artificial lights, there is a great three piece set of three point lighting that's pretty inexpensive on Amazon and I will link to that in the description and in my post. So this is the second light I have in place. It's called the fill light and it just fills in the shadows that are created by the key light, your main light. And for this I have a, one of those tabletop E Lowell Ego Lights um, or Ego Lights. I'm not exactly sure how it's pronounced, but uh, a lot of food photographers have one and they can be put on a stand. There is a screw on the bottom if you look underneath and it can screw right onto a tripod or a light stand. If you don't have a light stand for yours, I'll put a link to that in the post or in the description as well. And I use this on behind the camera as well and off to the other side and angle towards the opposite side of the subject. And it only has two bulbs in it and it's a softer light than the key light. The third light I have is the overhead or hair light. It is placed above or overhead of the subject. It doesn't have to be directly over the subject, but wherever it is placed above, it should be angled towards the top of the subject. The light I'm using for the overhead light is a shop light that I had in my garage already. They have them at the hardware store. Um, you can also get them on Amazon and other places as well, Home Depot, uh, wherever you like to go. I have one of those and I have one of the CFL bulbs in it. And then over it, it needs to be diffused. So I put some baking paper or parchment paper over it and some little clothespins to hold it on. I know that sort of makeshift slapdash, very MacGyver, <laughs> hillbilly ingenuity, if you will, what my kids like to say. Um, but for me, it was just a creative option that I used because I, I didn't want to buy another light. And it has a wonderful clip in the back, so you can clip it on to anything on the ceiling or a cabinet overhead in your kitchen or at the top of the cabinet. Or I clipped it on. I had this little hook that was screwed into the ceiling that 
I think it's for plants, but I never put one there because I'd probably kill it. And um, yeah, I just hung it from there and it, it moves. You can angle it. So, um, but there are proper light stands with a boom arm and a diffusion <laughs> uh, box over them. And you can use that and that you could probably put just about anywhere. And I will link to that. That's in the kit I was talking about earlier. I will link to that. So here is the tripod. It's just a regular tripod. I have a little attachment on here that's made for smartphones or cell phones. And it just slides on here like this. And then it screws onto your little plate there. And also, you want to make sure you have the back camera facing your subject, not the front selfie camera. The back camera is a better camera. And that way you can see what you're doing when you're making your food. You don't have to be in the video. You can just have your hands and the subject in the video. And you can also brighten and darken the screen as you go. And next video, we'll get into the settings I use and how I shoot from overhead. Thank you for joining me and I hope this was informative and have a great week.